Uh, okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our presentation. Uh, my name is Berat Tarnıverdi, and my department is Mechatronic Engineering. Uh, firstly, teacher, after the, after the previous presentation, we changed our project topics, considering your feedback. Uh, today, we will present uh, our data set uh, for car price prediction. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, investing money, uh, cars can cause a big loss since its market continuously changing. Uh, because of the changing market to make a, a profitable investment becomes really risky. Uh, at this point, to have a car price prediction algorithm can help to ha help uh, the customer in the most convenient way. Uh, even if the users do not have comment of the car market, uh, they will be able to learn the optimum value by entering the general features uh, into the algorithm. Uh, and <clears throat> for reference, uh, we took our data set from DataWorld's uh, used car data set. Uh, this website got the data set from the Kaggle site. Uh, however, uh, this data set is currently not available on the Kaggle site. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Hi everyone, my name is Yusuf Ali Koyuncu. My department is Computer Engineering. Um, for our da uh, data set details, we have 372,000 samples in total. Uh, we decided to use 18% of, of them the, to train data, 20% of them to testing data. Uh, um, we have 18 features and uh, two metadata, which are name are mo name and models. Uh, also, since we we are gonna predict the price, uh, our target feature will be price. Yes, next next page. Uh, here you can see all the feature which uh, with with the definition near them. Uh, since there are not related feature like. Uh, last seen online or number uh, number of the features uh, we are not going to use them as feature we also extractly highly correct uh, correlated features from data set hi everyone uh, my name is Bura. i'm from sofia engineering uh, here you can see the list uh, of our selected features for our forecast uh, we will use price rps uh, kilometer and year of registration as a numeric and all the rest as categorical feature. Also, you can see the distribution of the cars brand by uh, their frequently related to our target price feature, uh, target feature price. As you can see here, uh, our target feature price uh, is starts at zero and goes up to two billion. Uh, since it is uh, impossible to prices reaching that levels, we decided to not uh, take prices that equal to zero and define upper price limit as 500,000. Also, uh, uh, there are 19% of repair damage, as you can see. 90% uh, of repair damage feature is missing. 10% uh, uh, is missing for vehicle type. 5% is missing for gearbox, and 8% uh, is missing for uh, fuel type. As you can see here, uh, by removing wrongly inserted data, uh, we were uh, able to get a plot that makes sense uh, as seen here. The amount of cars that close to our current year is 2021 are increasing, uh, as you can see here, uh, but uh, there are enough samples for uh, all, all years, as you can see. Also, uh, we can see much newer cars are grouped together in higher prices, like this in here. Um, also, uh, you can see uh, in this price kilometer plot, uh, the lower kilometer cars uh, are collapsed in much higher prices, as can be seen here. Uh, in this plot, uh, we want to show the brand's distribution according to price. As you can see by the shapes, uh, the shape equivalents are here. 
the high level brands like uh, Mercedes Benz uh, and BMW, so like let's see here, there are uh, many of them here, are much higher uh, than the other uh, mid level brands. The power PS uh, is an equivalent of horsepower of a car, uh, and as shown in the scatter plot in here, now we notice that uh, there's a collapse in low price uh, so much. Uh, uh, it, for higher uh, power PS, uh, the price are getting lowered. Uh, so uh, we found uh, we thought uh, something maybe uh, missing here, or there's something wrong in here. Uh, like in the uh, price feature, uh, we uh, found that uh, there are wrong data that entered the power PS since the uh, highest average of power PS in the cars is near uh, 1000. So as you can see here, uh, this is much more uh, right uh, true values are uh, collapsed in here, but uh, there are only uh, data inserted here. So uh, we decide to completely ignore them or uh, fill them with true algorithm uh, with feature engineering methods before uh, start to our machine learning model. Hi everyone, my name is Gülsüm Büşra Arslan. I am from Mechatronics Engineering Department. Uh, at this slide, uh, we, we showed that our correlations between the features, as you can see. And uh, you can see our correlations values are really small that, so that we can use these features as our um, uh, as our feature in the data set. Okay. Uh, as conclusion, uh, we picked, why did we pick this data set? It's all about uh, the slides, all these slides, all this presentation about why did we pick this data set? And we picked this data set because it's, it's, it's kind that we can pick, we can apply our supervised learning knowledge and regression to protect our, predict our price, car price, according to our features as input. Thank you. Uh, thank you for attention. If you have any question, we are here to answer all. Thank you. Questions? Uh, I have one. Yes, again. Uh, as you mentioned, you have uh, quite a lot of uh, missing values for two or three features. Uh, how you are going to eliminate them? I, uh, we will uh, extract them from data set. Uh, we thinking about uh, extracting them from data set or uh, fill them maybe. But it's quite a lot of, I think it's like, it was like 7,000. You are going to eliminate all of them? Uh, not eliminate. Uh, we uh, didn't think the, about the method uh, yet. Uh, we will uh, select a method for uh, in future presentation oh, okay. or uh, selecting our model. Uh, we will uh, predict the test uh, our uh, results according to regression and we will decide to uh, fill them or extract them. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, also, yes, I have a question. Can you yes, go to uh, the scatter plot which you mentioned about the prices? Yes. Of course. Yes, this one. This one. Yes. Uh, it actually looks too linear. Uh, uh, because we, uh, we selected price to price. Uh, ah, okay, to, that's right. It was just for uh, showing the brands. Uh... Okay, then I have no question. All right. Okay, thank you. Any more? Uh, actually, it is similar to our uh, distribution slides. Uh, as you can see that, Gösterebilirsin uh, Bura, distribution. We again show here uh, the brand and price uh, distribution. Yeah. Similar this one. Again, BMW and some uh, different cars, uh, similar the uh, cost uh, higher the other ones. So what do you understand from here? Be Beran? 
Hear teacher. Uh, what do you uh, see here? Uh, you look at this distribution. What do you see here for your data uh, set to understand to comment on your data set? Uh, okay. Uh, in this distribution, uh, our price uh, changing with uh, cars brand. Uh, actually, all over the world, uh, brand is very important for the uh, car price. Uh, for example, BMW uh, generally is uh, more expensive than other cars. Uh, we can see uh, this uh, situation in this plot. Okay, but can you check, did you check that how many car brands, can you have a brand distribution graph? Uh, is this one? Uh, brand, brand, brand this, distribution. This no, one. No, no, no. From each brand, how many samples we have? Oh. Uh, we did not get that. Uh, okay, now. Uh, Berat, yes. I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. Berat? Yes, yes. Okay. I can hear you. Think of that you are saying that BMWs are the most expensive one according to the graph, right? Yes. But if I said that you have only five samples in your data set of BMW? Uh, actually, we don't know uh, yet. <laughs> A number of samples. Uh, you understand my point? Yeah, no, yes, yes, I understand. Teacher. So you need to check these distributions as well. Okay. Uh, right. Otherwise, you think that some car is very expensive, but only one sample and it's a mistaken and only one big price. Yeah, of course. Uh, actually, in this graph, uh, as you can see, uh, most uh, expensive cars are others. Uh, I think others uh, are. Uh, the origin like, of the all uh, brands in here. Uh, so you, uh, okay, Berat, what can you do to get rid of these kind of errors? What can you do? Uh, maybe we can remove a, a less a number of cars. Yes, so for example, uh, others you mentioned, right? So you might like to remove the others, right? Uh, yes. For example, okay. So, can you go to the the uh, setting the the features list? The feature list. Is that the features? Yeah, they are very small. I cannot read it. First of all, I cannot. I I, I don't read it. I cannot hear from. But my question for Gülsüm, Bushra. Yes. Yes. Ah, thank you. Bishra, do you think that all these, there are some categorical features? Do you think that these categorical features, do you need to binarize them? All of them? Binarize them. Binarize them. You mean that we can categorically answer? It's like, method. yes, it means to answer for every uh, category for our features. So are you gonna uh, create dummy variables? Sorry, can you repeat, please? Are you gonna create dummy variables? I really don't understand, I'm sorry. Okay, so you oh. need to work on this terminology as I explained in the previous presentations. There are lots many things missing okay for example you you don't know how to handle the categorical variables so here these categorical variables if you use directly your success rate will be very very uh, limited right do you understand my question Bura? yes yes understood. so for example the offer type maybe how many categories in that offer type uh let me show one minute Okay, whatever, you, you need to create new features from the offer type, for example. Like all things, right? Oh, yeah. uh -huh. A dummy variable, and then you create offer, uh, I don't know, offer yes, offer no, offer maybe, uh, you understand? 
So you need to create yeah. this. Okay. Yusuf ID koyunca. Yes teacher. Okay. So do you think that which one of the uh, to, to predict the price, which of the uh, feature is most important? Uh, I think uh, fuel type uh, and vehicle type. Why? Uh, uh, lots of teacher. I think lots of uh, because uh, we have by the car. Uh, I am not asking your opinion. I am asking after doing these data analysis. Uh, okay. Give me some arguments. Give me some numbers. Uh, Give me some figures. Wait a minute. Um, in your presentation. Brand. Brand. Why? Brand, hocam. Why? Uh, because um, his model affect uh, uh, um, the price. In which slides, in which graph do you understand it? Okay, thank you for the presentation.